Now, um, ARP is a pretty new force that has emerged in the last, you know, less than a year. Now, what is the significance of ARP in the Indian context? I mean, in much broader terms, I mean, we've, most of us have lived our entire lives with, you know, the parties that we're already aware of, right? The new, uh, and it's been a long time since a new party has emerged and had so much of traction in such a short time. So what is the significance you see of, of the Aam Aadmi Party in the Indian context today? Uh, Praveen, would you want to take that first? You want to unmute yourself, uh, Praveen? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, can you hear me, Pran? Yes, I can. Yeah, I think this answer also in some ways is continued. Pankaj Bhai said and what I've been saying is that there is a capture of the institutions by a certain kind of political elite. So the, the AMA is about the right, the intent of politics. It's about can we actually look at real issues and can we try and address them. It was not possible by the traditional parties. There's a nexus between the traditional parties and what can be called the economic. So there is a capital uh, political nexus across the world. and it works to its own advantage. Power basically has its, the nature of power sometimes is that it will formulate policies, do things for its own benefit. The Ahmadmi party, I think the, the most important thing is it's got the right intent in place. Clearly we need capability along with intent, but with the existing parties, if you see the intent itself is missing. Can we look at the issues of the larger populace, population? Can we formulate things which work for the larger population? This is what was missing. So that is point number one. And I would want to back this up with very concrete examples. If you were to look at all the elections in Delhi before the election in 2013, if you were to look at the manifestos, none of them talk of core issues like electricity, like water, like sewerage, like housing. And these are actually the core issues in Delhi. We can talk about fancy flyovers, Commonwealth Games, India shining, but when we went around in the streets, for example, it might be, I mean, uh, very unusual thing for people to hear that 75% of people in Delhi live on what are actually unauthorized colonies, unauthorized settlements, be it of the kind of slums, etc. So the Aam Aadmi Party actually brought out the issues that matter to people. It's about calling spade a spade a spade. So the kind of government, the kind of development model that is being currently followed is actually not working for bulk of the population. But this is not brought out by the media. This is not something most of us who are the so-called educated class also are sometimes completely unaware of. So I think the relevance of Ahmadmi Party is bringing out the issues that matter to the bulk of the population. Having the right intent, can we have clean politics? Can politics do what it is meant to do, which is address people's issues? I think that is what is one important bit about the Ahmadmi Party currently. But I would also say that discourses in current politics have been hijacked by these false talks of communalism, one party being communalist, the other being using uh, the religion card, etc. Or a certain economic policy in the country, which is again working for, for a very section of the population. So I would say AP bring in moderation, trying to bring in balance in this whole discourse of how, how can we serve people. I think that is relevance number two. The third thing says these things can't be sorted out by good intent. We need to make systemic changes, and one of the big things that it is. How can we decentralize this? How can we push more decisions to people, 543 people sitting in parliament or 100 people sitting in a state assembly take all these decisions? So three things I would say, clean politics, issues of the people, moderation in various of the discourses that matter to people, and systemic changes of the kinds where we actually hand out power to the people I think in today's context, that is what, that is the freshness, that is the genuineness, that is the relevant thing that AP is bringing to the table. 